Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about TM mode for parallel plate waveguide. This is the structure of the parallel plate waveguide that we discussed in our previous lecture. Here are the two plates that is top plate and bottom plate and which are parallel to each other. In between these two plates, a dielectric material is being filled and these two plates are placed at the distance that is equal to D only. The width of these two parallel plates is equal to W and these are placed at Y equals to W to Y equals to D only. Let us discuss about the TM mode first. So the TM mode stands for transverse magnetic mode means all the magnetic field are transverse. Therefore we can say that there will be no magnetic field in the Z direction that is at Z equals to zero. So for TM mode to occur the component of magnetic field in the Z direction that is at Z will be equal to zero only. Now this is our first step. Moving on to the second step, having a look at the Helmholtz equation for this TM mode. So Helmholtz equation for TM mode is given as del 2 over del y square plus kc square which is being in multiplication with transverse electric field ez of xy equals to 0 this is our equation number 1 now let us discuss some boundary conditions for this Helmholtz equation So the boundary conditions that are associated with the transverse electric field that is EZ of X comma Y. So EZ of X comma Y is equal to zero at Y value which is equal to zero and also at Y equals to D means at this place and at this place also the value of transverse electric field is equal to zero only and EZ will be tangential on the top and the bottom plate. So let us give it as equation number 2. On the basis of this boundary condition, we will find out the general solution of this equation number 1. So the general solution will be given as EZ of XY which is being equal to A sin K kc into y plus b cos kc of y this kc here is nothing but cutoff wave number and this is the equation for general solution so this is the solution for the Helmholtz equation let us give it as equation number 3 now as we discuss the true boundary condition on the transverse electric field so we will apply this boundary condition applying boundary condition so applying the first boundary condition at y equals to 0 so at y equals to 0 since our equation is ez of xy equals to a sine KCY plus B cos KC into Y. Since according to the first boundary condition, EZ of XY is equal to 0 at Y equals to 0. So on putting EZ of XY equals to 0 here, we get A sign. And in place of y, 
here is the 0 because y equals to 0 here that's why sine of 0 degree plus b cos of 0 degree since sine 0 is nothing but equals to 0 only and cos 0 is 1 so we will write 0 equals to b here or b value will become 0 only now let us apply the second boundary condition that is at y equals to d for the top plate since our equation is ez of xy is a sine kc of y plus b cos kcy and according to the second boundary condition ez of xy is equals to 0 at y equals to d so applying this boundary condition in this equation we get 0 here equals to a sine kc and in place of y we will put d and since we get that b equals to 0 that's why we ignore this term so we know that sine and pi is nothing but equals to 0 so we will replace here this equation can also be written as 0 equals to sine kc of d on multiplying this a in the denominator now in place of this 0 we will write sine and pi sine and pi equals to sine kc of d so on comparing the lhs and rhs part we can write and pi is equals to kc into d so from this we can also write that the value of cutoff wave number that is kc is equals to and pi by d only so this is all about the cutoff wave number this is our equation number 5 this is equation number 4 now on substituting the value of b and kc in this equation the general solution will become z of x comma y that is being equals to a sine in place of kc we will write n pi by d into y and since the value of b is equals to 0 here so on multiplying all this equation with 0 it will become 0 only so this is our general solution for the Helmholtz equation this is our equation number 6 now let us discuss about the total electric field now the total electric field in all the components that is rectangular form x y and z is given as ez of xy in multiplication with e to the power minus j beta z here this ez of xy is the transverse electric field and this e to the power minus j beta z is nothing but showing the wave propagation in z direction on substituting the value it becomes a sine and pi by d into y multiplied with e to the power minus j beta z where this beta is nothing but under the root k square minus kc square
now there are some transverse component which are transverse to the direction of propagation of wave so the transverse component are given as hx which is being equals to j omega epsilon over kc a cos n pi y over d e to the power minus j beta z another transverse component is given as ey which is being equals to minus j beta over kc an cos n pi y over d e to the power minus j beta z third transfer component is ex whose value is equals to 0 and hy which is also equals to 0 so these are the four transverse component associated with tm mode now let us have a look at some parameters that are associated with wave propagation in tm mode so the first parameter is cut off wave frequency the cut off frequency is represented by fc where this cut off frequency is the frequency below which the tm mode wave will not propagate and here the fc value is equal to the ratio of omega over 2 pi and this omega can also be represented in terms of cut off wave number that is kc so it will be equal to kc into vp over 2 pi and if we write the value of here is kc sorry so the value of kc that we discussed is equal to n pi over d and the value of vp is nothing but phase velocity that is under the root mu epsilon and 1 over 2 pi here is as it is if we solve it then we get the final expression for cutoff frequency as n over 2d under the root mu epsilon so this is the cutoff frequency for the wave propagation in tm mode now look at the second parameter that is characteristic wave impedance The expression for the wave impedance is represented by ZTM where TM is nothing but TM mode and its expression is given by the negative of ratio of EY over HX. If we calculate its value then it will also be represented in terms of phase constant that is beta over omega epsilon. Moving on to the next parameter that is phase velocity so the phase velocity is represented by v of p and this vp having the expression is equal to omega over beta so this is all about the TM mode for the wave propagation in parallel plate waveguide. If you like my videos, then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button. Thank you.